Here we are with Mr. Ryan Hampshire Turk, Drift Free or Die, Mobile One, Gardella Racing, Pontiac Solstice, GXP. That is a mouthful. What isn't a mouthful is V8 Pontiac Solstice. That's what's happened. It's been debuted, LS7. How does it feel? Uh, you know, the new LS7 in the uh, Mobile One Pontiac Solstice is amazing, man. Um, I've never had that much power before into my foot, so it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's uh, it's it's so relative and easy. It's just what I've been looking for the entire year to just be able to step on a gas and just have the tire smoke just billow out behind it behind a car and uh, it makes it, it can get you out of uh, small mistakes a lot easier and um, and it's just a lot more fun to drive. So I mean, you've you've pretty much driven up or driven up. You've driven up and grown up. You've grown up driving turbo cars and you you've only dealt with boost really i mean I, I mean you really haven't had a v8 torque on call car this is your first one uh you, you say it gets you out of predicaments can it get you in predicaments too and how much horsepower and torque are you dealing with there i would say it definitely could get you into predicaments i mean uh the amount of wheel speed that the, the car generates um is something you definitely need to get used to like when you floor that when you floor the thing it generates so much wheel speed when you let off the gas that wheel speed is still jolting you forward so you need to compensate for that Whereas a four-cylinder doesn't generate as much wheel speed, so when you let off the gas, the wheels are already caught up with the car. And uh, so that's a little bit of a predicament that you need to get used to. And, um, you know, besides that, I mean, every, there's so many more benefits to it than there are negatives to it. And uh, it's, it's, all, it's all in how you drive it and uh, how you use the horsepower and torque that it has. And it's, we're, we definitely have a lot of it. Yeah, and I'm sure you've modified, obviously, the suspension. If you tooled around at the Gardella Racing Camp, you guys are always testing. I mean, you, like, again, I always talk about your Pro-Am your pro-am basically campaign with Angerman and, and your development. You guys are all East Coast. It's it's admirable. Let's talk about where you stand in standings and how this event. I mean, we're over the hump. Round five. This is prior. We're doing this interview prior to qualifying. Qualifying is very important this year. They they uh, basically award more points in qualifying. What does the event mean to you and overall and where you're standing? Where are you currently standing in points? I'm currently standing fourth in points in a championship, and um, you know I got a ways to go to to jump to that number one spot. So. Every one, of the, every one of these last events is going to be do or die for me, and uh, you know every single point counts, every qualifying session counts, and um, you know I want to I want to come out of this thing with a being a champion. So uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work, and I need to have a little bit of luck on our side. But the Gardella Racing team is doing everything they can for me to make it happen. And, uh, you know, I want to make it happen for them as well. Well, it's a risky move. I mean, some would say that's it's even almost deadly. To, I mean, you know, not to not to curse you or anything, but switching it up. I know, again, you have a confident team, and you guys are very capable, but switching engines mid-season, I mean, that's that's a huge risk. I mean, that's a huge risk. Talking about more risk, this track is very infamous, not only for, obviously, Formula Drift, but also for you. You did the first ever four-wheeled bunny hop in a car <laughs> here last year. You and, uh, which driver was it? Uh, Whale. Whale. You and Whale, you hit the car and you went airborne we can probably show a clip where you can YouTube right now uh, how, what does this track mean to you I mean how how insane is this track uh, this tracks nuts man every uh, last year and, the, and even a year before in 08 I mean both years are just nuts the entries are awesome and um, those K rails are pretty serious business so uh, and all the clipping points are on the outside and you're screaming top of fourth gear into them so it's uh, it demands a lot of uh, I don't know. A lot of just, just focus. Lot of, yeah. Cojones. Yeah, cojones. yeah, I got. It. Okay, it's a family show. It's a family show. All right. Yeah, a, a lot of commitment and stature and a lot of presence. I think that's what you meant to say. To be proper. To be proper. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, high fives and handshakes. Ryan Turk, Mobile One, now LS7 powered, Gardella Racing, Pontiac Solstice. You can't say GXP anymore. You could say LS7 Solstice. Pontiac Solstice. I like it. There you go, Ryan Turk.